Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with the Bassmaster Fishing 2022. And we have already completed two legs of the Bassmaster College series. The last one you got to see me do an episode on. This one, I think it's going to be a little bit different. It looks like it's something called a species race, and it takes place at St. Lawrence River. My guess is that it might be we're trying to catch multiple species. I, I'm really not sure, but looks like we can go ahead and jump in here. We unlocked it just recently. It says, this event is a great task for an, all, an angler's all-round skill. The winner is the first to catch one of each of the qualifying species, so make sure you check the rules and prepare your tackle accordingly. Every second counts. Oh boy. <laughs> So, which ones count? That's the thing. Um, check the rules. Let me check the rules here. Let's see, what's this loadout here? Oh, that's just the loadout that I have. Well, we'll just jump in to see what we have to pull off here. I don't know. I have no idea how this plays out. So, let's go ahead and go. Today's all about one thing, getting inside that cut line. Who will it be? Our anglers are ready for takeoff, so let's join them on the water. Okay, what are we supposed to do here? Well, it looks like it's 5,000 cash. 11 o'clock in the afternoon. Eh, that's kind of a... Eh, well, on a cloudy day, it shouldn't be too bad. 30 minutes. So the rules are still pretty much the same. So I'm thinking we just need to catch as many as we possibly can catch. Where I'm going is back here. There was a bunch of species right here at this this bridge. That way I can get started immediately. See here. Oh, that's where I wanted to throw it right there. And we'll see what we can get here. May have to. Okay, it worked. I wasn't sure if the overhead cast is going to work that time. If this doesn't work. I have another great, awesome spot. Actually, two. May need to throw it a little more to the right. I was doing this in the morning last time, so that may affect things a little bit. No, I see plenty of fish. And there's our first one. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. He's on, but he's not on real well. Okay, let's... We're going to need to finesse this guy. A little bit bigger than I anticipated. I'm not sure that the weight is going to make any difference, but as you can see, it looks like we need to catch one of each species if we can. And this is a largemouth bass. I'm pretty sure not everyone's going to get every species, but. Oh, wow, this guy is really making this difficult. Come on, you little freaky fish. There we go, we got him. That's a nice one, too. It's Chubasa. <laughs> so, an eight pound bass, he's a trophy. All right, that's one. And I am the first. Now, just downstream past that bridge, there's quite a few other species, especially bluegill and crappie. So if I don't get anything else here, I'm going to keep my tension low like that. Ah. Damn it, snag. See, 
now I don't want to get another bass. <laughs> That's kind of unusual. Okay, let's try a little bit over this way. I think I'm going to also side this, do this to the side. That way I can get a farther cast out that way. Okay, there's... I saw some other species there, but that looks like a bass to me. Now that is a freshwater drum. Doesn't seem all that interested. Okay, now we've got other people with a species. I may try a different lure here. Let's see, I don't even remember what I have on here. Let me check. Okay, I got the gizzard gizzard spoon. Good choice. The trout species will go for that one too. I wish. Oh, there's a nice, nice. Let's see, what is that? <laughs> is it a chain pickerel, or is it a northern pike? I think it's a chain pickerel. Yeah, it is. Well, there's two. Yeah, this is going to be a lot more challenging, honestly. I think that's another bass. Yep, I think we got us another bass. Uh, come on. Yes. Yep, he doesn't count. Not gonna set any records with that one. But at least it's a good solid keeper. Yeah, we need a something like a gar or a smallmouth bass, spotted bass, white bass. I think that was a northern pike, but he didn't seem to be interested in the lure. Alright, it looks like every species in this darn thing counts. And since that's the case, I'm trying to remember if I still have that little lure. Yes, I do. The Ned Bomb Grape to Soda Tail, I think is what it's called. Yeah, this one is a favorite of bluegill, pumpkin seed, and other small species, which seem to be in high quantity around here. Might be able to get one of them interested in it. Had a couple of possible takers, but they decided to change their mind. Yeah, this is a good spot, but I think I'm going to need to move over to that other one. There we go. That might have been a perch. I hope it was. Because that counts. Yes it is. There we go. That makes three. Three out of the seventeen. I know he's little, but it doesn't matter. He counts. Okay, let's try this again. Yeah, this is kind of cool. It's extremely challenging, like I said. Because <laughs> you need to need to be able to switch your baits around, but I purposefully put on here baits that I knew each type of fish for the most part, at least roundabout, would go for. The small ones, the big ones. I 
I just gotta get the attention of a crappie. Seems like I normally can get them all the time, but this time they're being a little more difficult. Or powered. There we go. I don't know what that was, but I think it might have been a small bass, which means it's not going to count. Yes. Oh. Bugger. Oh, would you look at that cute little baby bass? Yeah, that cute little baby bass is not what I needed. Got one of those. Come on, pumpkin seed fish. Oh, there's a coho salmon right there. Let's see if he'll go for this. I'm gonna change my casting style here. Oh, come on, fish. Some slack here. Yeah, I think once we get a certain number, then it's gonna. That's when the weight will matter. Just like in that Ice Licks game. Yeah, I think we're gonna switch this up a little bit here. Let's see. What would be a good lord attempt here? Booyah Buzz, that's usually a nice, good, well-rounded lure. White Bass, go for it. You haven't gotten one of those yet, so... spot. I was expecting to do a little better, but then I had practiced here in the early morning. This is obviously not the early morning. I was trying to figure out where that Oh, I know what I'm doing here. Let's see. We are going to go ahead and try our rattle trap. If we don't get anything, we're going to move on to the next location. We've already got people caught up with us. Swims right on by. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think it's time we head elsewhere. I know there's a good spot over here. We gotta go around this bend. Not too far, but I do know there's a lot of species in here. You can already see them. But it's right where those and we do risk a lot of snags, but it is well worth the spot. Okay, let's see here. At least it was last time I was here. Definitely fish down in there. I see them. Ah. Well, they just knocked me down to fourth place. I need to get a fish. Like he was gonna go after it, but he, he quit. All right, let's try. Let's try this one here. Oh, it's been a snag so far. Hmm. Alright, that rattle trap is just not doing anything. I just keep getting snags.
There we go. Finally. Let's see what we got here. Hopefully it's something different. Yes, it is a crappie. That is going to black crappie. It's going to put me back in first. I need to get a little more ahead than that. Time to quit playing around. There we go. Perfect. Well, it's another black crappie, but... At least we're getting something. Yeah, see, there's a bluegill. Or a pumpkin. See, I couldn't tell. There we go. That, my friends, was a walleye. That fellow's gonna help. It's a good thing too, because they just knocked me out again. No, it's not a walleye. It's a brown trout. I'll be darned. problem. This is a great place to fish, but there's a ton of snags. There we go. I couldn't tell if that was another crappie or not. I think it is. A lot of those little black, black crappies over there. There we go. I think that might be a northern pike. That... Yeah, it's gotta be a northern pike. Pickerel wouldn't fight that hard. Yeah, that guy named John Cruz is right on my ass. He's not going to come all that willingly here, guys. He's going to fight me. This is kind of a big fish. Okay, we're going to need to bump up the tension just a little bit here. Come on. I don't think you can land these guys. I think you can only land the bass. Which I did see it say landing on the crappie, so I guess maybe you can. I don't know. It's hard to say. He is not even budging. A little more tension in here. Not too much more. Oh, there he goes. He's decided to make another run for it. Good lord, this is a big fish. I'm so glad I caught the chain pickerel, not another, not a small northern pike. Now he will count. If 
I can get him in, that is. And I'm starting to wonder. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, he's getting a little closer. Come on, come on, there he is. Whoa, nice fish. Very nice fish. 24 pounds, not a trophy, but nice fish. Definitely a good part of this particular fight, guys. And that puts me well in the first place. And well into another snack. That's all good. Ah. He got off the thing because I... Well. There it goes. Okay. It's kind of a lousy cast. There's a walleye over there. Be nice to get one of those. Come on, walleye. No, he's not going to go for it. I don't know what that was. It just grabbed it but we'll see <laughs> it's a baby walleye but he'll count <laughs> he'll count 11 ounce at walleye that puts uh, I'm well ahead now guys I was getting a little nervous there for a while that I was not gonna get in get into this but I am too ahead of the competition here now. Ah. No, I thought he had it. There we go, he does. I don't know what it is. I think it's a perch. Yep, little yellow perch two pounds nine ounces I think we're gonna switch over to this somewhere here I'd like to get a bluegill I've been trying to get one for a while here I've gotten them uh, practicing but I haven't gotten one during a competition yet <laughs> uh, I have no idea what that is It's not big, but at this point big may not matter. I'll be darned. <laughs> what the heck? Another chain pickerel? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just didn't look like a chain pickerel. Interesting markings on him. Okay, that was a good sized fish, whatever it was. I think that it might have been a rainbow trout, but I'm not 100% certain. He's big, though. Unfortunately, it's only a good strike, so we have two minutes. We're still two ahead. If we get this guy in, it's going to put us three ahead. Because he's definitely a different species, so. He's a good size one, that's for sure. Come on, big guy.
Yeah, these guys will surprise you. They will move around real slow and then suddenly they'll take off like a rocket. I'm hoping I get him in before the end of the competition. I don't know that that's going to happen. I mean, I've got this game no matter what, but I just would love to pull this one in before it's over. Come on, big guy. Come on. Get in here closer. Ah. You are going to be troublesome, aren't you? Ah, oh, so close. Come on, big guy. There we go. We got him. We got him. At the last minute. Man, now that's a nice fish. A Chinook. 25 pounds. That's what I'm talking about, guys. That's the winning fish right there. 31.89 inches. That's the fish, guys. 10 seconds to spare. We're not going to get anything more at this point, but I think we are well ahead of the competition. That's it. Let's get your bag on the scales and find out where that places you on the leaderboard. Well, round one, let's see, 8 of 17. So there's four rounds. <laughs> oh, man. Four rounds we've got to go through to get this completed. But I definitely came out on that round. And this spot is definitely the spot, guys, without a doubt. It's worth the extra snags and all that good stuff. But I did quite, catch quite a few here. I've got, I've got largemouth, chain pickerel, yellow perch, black crappie, brown trout, walleye, and a chinook. So 8 out of the 17. Not bad. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. I will be back with another episode of Bassmaster Fishing 2022. Might do another one of these. These I really, I'm really enjoying. They're challenging. It's a little nerve-wracking at times, but I think with this spot, if we start off on this spot next time, it might get us up enough ahead where we can just stay there. If not, I've got another spot yet that's a little further past that bridge that we were at. Uh, quite a few species over there, especially the smaller ones. But anyway, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.